Hey, base camp. You know, have you ever asked your parents for things? Like a really cool dinosaur toy. Or this amazing squishy ball that I have been squeezing all morning. Ow. So I know I asked my parents for things, and I know you probably ask your parents for things. But do you ask God for things like you ask your parents for things? Like, do you ask God to give you new toys? I know I used to do that as a kid. Have you ever asked God for health or for food or for protection? I know we usually pray those sorts of things to God. We ask God for those things. The reason why I bring it up is that it ties into this idea of who God is. And if you remember our verse from last week, it's this. The Lord God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in loving kindness and truth. Now our word for the day that describes God is loving kindness. And the Hebrew, that's hesed. And now hesed is seen all throughout the Bible. It's, it's a very common word to describe God. And one of the best stories that gives us a good example of what hesed is, is the book of Ruth. Now. Ruth is an Old Testament book, and she's an Old Testament woman who lived before the times of King David and King Saul. But she was a very important woman in the Israelite culture. But what's interesting is that she's not actually an Israelite woman. She's a Moabite woman, and she married into an Israelite family. And this family lived together. She had her husband. She had her brother-in-law and sister-in-law and her mother-in-law and father-in-law and they all lived together but something tragic happened I mean they, they, were, they were probably farmers or shepherds but the men of the family died and it was a horrible situation it left the women living together on their own and they tried to work it out they tried to work together but they, they couldn't keep up with things. And so Naomi told Orpah and Ruth to leave and to build their own lives again because they, things weren't working out. And, and this is what Ruth said, and this is an example of loving kindness that God shows to us. And this is what Ruth said, do not urge me to leave you or turn back from following you. For where you go, I go. Where you live, I live. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Loving kindness basically means others focused love. And in this, this sense of devotion that Ruth had to Naomi is this idea of loving kindness. And that sense of devotion that Ruth had for Naomi, God has for us. And to tie things back to our, our toy thing, what's also interesting about the book of Ruth is that this story goes on, this devotion that Ruth has to, to Naomi and to other people around her continues to be displayed throughout the book. This loving kindness, this others-centered love. And what's interesting, and the reason why I brought this really cool toy in, is that nowhere in this book does somebody pray for something good to happen to themselves? They don't ask God for things for themselves. All of their prayers are focused on others first. All of their prayers are focused on others first. And that's that idea of loving kindness, that other people are first, this devotion to others that God displays to us that we are asked to display to other people. And the first and foremost display of this others focused love is this person of Jesus. It's this others focused love that, that God sent his own son to die for our sins so that we didn't have to, to bring us back into unity with God so that we could be with God forever. That was the purpose of the person of Jesus. 
And that is a perfect example of loving kindness or God's hesed. And when you ask, who is God? The answer is that God is others focused and that God is loving kindness. Thanks for listening today. I'm gonna go find that ball and squeeze it again. Because it, I mean, I've been doing it all morning. It's been really fun. But I will see you guys next time. And guess what? In two weeks, we have the big base camp adventure. And I cannot wait to actually see you in person. And we're gonna tell a amazing story about the person of Jonah. All right, it involves ships and fish, and you don't wanna miss it. All right, see you guys next time.